By the way, hey. follow me on Instagram, Funeral Parlor Tricks. <laughs> what? That sounds. Oh, that sounds like a dope. Dude, if that's not your Twitter, we gotta make it. Yeah, that's my. Uh, that's my. Instagram, but I can't plug my Instagram on a stream, so no, I just. Did. And uh, Jenkins. Absolutely. Is ZSS? Yeah, absolutely. He's. Uh, I know. I don't know if he mains ZSS, but I know he has one. I played it before. It's pretty good. Yeah. So he's got the. I. I think he's used. He's. He's taught or coached Andrew T a lot about the ZSS. That's true. So maybe this is, we're no. gonna see if that if his coaching. That's always a funny thing. Coaches are never as good as their players, but that's just literally in anything. Yeah, that's just has. That's to. actual sports yeah, too. That's so. sports. You're not gonna see uh, a, a beer-bellied old man run down the field. That's like, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, but if he does, I'd be amazed. Uh, if he does, I'd be amazed. He doesn't even have to play. I just want to see him run the whole 200 <laughs> yards. <laughs> Tight match so far, though. Um, Dr. Oh, is going to so use that hydrant oh. as protection. I wonder why he's mad about that. He was shaking his head. I think he's mad that Jenkins. Yeah, I think he realized that like Jenkins was kind of outplaying him the first stocks. And uh, he really is succumbing to the matchup right now. Jenkins uh, feeling okay? He has. He's not wearing a hat. This, yeah, he does usually wear hats, huh? Mm. Yeah, it could be. Pretty much this match is fire hydrant. Yeah. Game, in a lot of ways. Uh, you want to pay attention loosely to how many hits it's going to take to knock that fire hydrant away. Mm -hmm. Because what smart Pac-Mans will do is they'll just stay on the other side, wait for you to hit it once. They'll hit it back. Uh, okay. Because theirs is going to be the one to knock it away, and you'll still be in hit lag from when you tried to knock it away. Uh huh. And then you're you're getting hit by a fire nice hydrant. Up That's absolutely nice up here, right? Now, the, and the thing I noticed too is that, like, especially in that first stock, he did it somewhere in that second stock as well. But he kind of used that hydrant almost more as a wall, so he could cycle through his his fruits. Yep. And just use that as like a, just a straight up protection. Yeah. Oh wow, nice dash dance, but does not get that grab a little too. Uh, made Jenkins panic a little too much. Instead of staying shield, he just kind of jumped away. Okay, thanks, man. Gonna get the back throw. Cycles over to the orange. The orange is kind of menacing. Oh yeah. Let's get up. Ooh, nice wave one. Mm -hmm. Nice wave one. Oh, hitbox extension on the hydrant. Mm -hmm. That was so smart. That's uh, that was. So a the hydrant one. extension on the what the back the, back, the air. back air. Yep. Get the bell. Duck Duck's kind of moving now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. He has a little bit of those like not the same Sora head bobs, but like yeah, he's kind of moving in that player cam now. Yeah, he's like uh oh, I'm yeah. about to win possibly. Yeah, he's just the flow Oof. on Pac-Man is just so good. Nice parry too, yo. He's feeling it now. Dude, and the water pushed him away, mm -hmm. so he could get the grab even easier. Mm -hmm. Good shield work. Try to read the roll. Interesting. Reeds tries to read the roll instead of going for the back air out of shield. I think like that's that. cool. Yo, the lob on the apple. Yeah, he knows these angles. <laughs> Those angles. Down air oh. from Jenkins gonna push Duck Duck off stage though. Jenkins is playing patient. I'll give him that. I mean, he yeah. Definitely a lot of players in these, except for that side. That's he cool. is um, he's been one to prom to promote that or push that. Yeah, or yeah. Just so play patient. Play patient. At least he uh, is a man of his own lectures, I guess. <laughs> Not his word, his lectures. Yeah, his word, I guess. He is a he is a coach, so. Yeah. I guess they would be lectures. But 166 though. Yeah. Fortunately, he's got a lot of ground to cover. Yeah, he just... Oh, man. What's he got to do here? He's got to find some kind of kill confirm. Whether it be like a falling up or a visor, Or just get hit by a back air and that'll be game one. I will be game one going to Duck, Duck, Pony. Uh, you get back there now, or do you John Duck! Need to finish this? John! Okay, back, thank you. John! I'm getting impatient! Is that Omar? Yeah, <laughs> something about patience. <laughs> Omar, you, I think you could hear Omar like down the street. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe that's true. Everyone knows if Omar is here. Right, so they are going to go, I think, to the pick and ban uh, tablet. Yep, here we go. Let's hope they do the... If they even got check marks, you know what we're talking about. Yeah, who are these dudes? This is still around... Oh, yeah, this is still Duck Duck. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, Give me a moment. That was only game one. It did kind of... Oh, okay, so Duck Duck going with the band on Battlefield. And then he gets another one, right? And bans Kalos. Yeah. So he bans Kalos in Battlefield. He doesn't want Jenkins to have the plats, the triplats, or the space. Yeah. So now Jenkins, he's gonna go, actually going to go with Town and City. So Town and City is actually kind of nice for ZSS. 
because oh, yeah. of um, the outer platforms plus turns and Final Destination. That's true. That's true. And that Final Destination will be nice. Okay. So the little thing is out. Oh, okay. Gonna well, you, got, you see, have see a nice you day. I'll yeah. see you soon, yeah. See. I really no, will. No, no. See you in a while because you're going to go just win this whole thing. I mean, even if I see, like, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. So Jenkins is going to switch over to the Pokemon Trainer. Another uh, see you soon. <laughs> see you real soon. Uh, switch over to the Pokemon Trainer. And, oh, I kind of like this color, the color scheme pick, too. I don't think we see this one too often because Shmael usually does rock the white. Starts it off with a up throw. So I'm not sure how this matchup is going to be because I don't know what... Pokemon's gonna benefit the most against Pac-Man. I feel like Pac-Man's a little too small for the extended Squirtle combos. So maybe Ivysaur. I need that wish we I wonder if we got uh, Pac-Man's weight nearby. I'm sure he's probably like smack dab in the middle, if not on the lighter side. But Jenga's kinda riding on the Squirtle. He only have forty six percent, so yeah, that's he's gonna try to he hasn't really got like a full squirtle combo going either. And Duck Duck is doing a very good job of using these uppies to get out of pressure. Just one, just one trampoline. Switches over to the Ivysaur now. This is, I feel like, where Jenkins will kind of stay for a while. Catches Jenkins with the fire hydrant. He jumped into it, and then Duck Duck wasn't even expecting him to do that. Nice down air. Throughout the orange. Jenkins trying to fish for that up B. Actually goes for the down air two times, but that trampoline's there. Pac-Man got spiked into his own trampoline, so that is... Uh, Duck Duck is cheeking about that one. Now Jenkins actually is going to switch to the Charizard here because that's what he wants. He wants that kill power. But he kills Charizard with the fire hydrant. Good switch. Quickly. The double switch, actually. He'll probably recycle, yep, back to the Squirtle. And now we're just uh, playing Smash 4. Good grab to the up air. I feel like in this matchup, Lil' Fame was talking about the Fire Hydrant. I feel like in this one, he's going to be trying to utilize more of the fruit cycles. Stuff like that, using the bell. Because especially if he can catch any of the Pokemon in a disadvantage. Duck Duck Point is going to really want to... Uh, attack that, but Jenkins is actually going to catch that uh, orange there. Little thing kind of brought it up, but yes, yeah, but he, I got to just reiterate more. Yeah, Duck Duck's disadvantage is kind of, is, is insane. Every time I see him, like, kind of starting to lose it, what he'll do is he'll throw out that fire hydrant, almost just as a protection. Run straight at him to try to throw off the timing of Jenkins' side smash, and then actually rolls at the last second. Gets bounced on the down air. This is a, definitely a tighter match so far. I felt like Duck Duck Pony was kind of running away with game one. Uh, but Jenkins seems like the Pokemon Trainer Switch is doing a little bit uh, more work right now. Up he's the wrong way, I think. I, I, and Charizard just doesn't snap there. That was kind of weird. Yeah, Jenkins has to shrug that one off. Now Duck Duck's sitting at a Duck Duck Pony sitting at a pretty good situation, but the forward air is actually going to connect big time. That's huge for Jenkins. Doesn't let Duck Duck Pony get any extra credit on this final stock. It is so weird that we have two Pac-Mans and like can consistently plays well too. Gonna dash attack into the fire hydrant to maybe hit the get the bounce on it. But now Jenkins has taken the lead in this stock, and he's kind of been keeping the momentum going. Trying to stay in Duck Duck Pony's face, actually. He's gonna switch over to the Charizard for protection here. He may cycle through, or actually know that he's at 83%. Uh, Jenkins might stay here. Let's see what Duck Duck Pony's been able to do to find his way in. He's gonna flare blitz. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Unfortunately, he's gonna get belled into a side smash. And now Duck Duck Pony has re regained the lead and the momentum. Now Jenkins, Charizard, a very tough character to get back to the stage because he's such a big body. Or get back down safely is, is what I should say. Nice shield to back air. Duck Duck Pony does love that. Just 
out here just straight kicking fire hydrants. Comes the bell. Jenkins shields jumps out of the shield just in time. Tom Jenkins, that one flare blitz has really kind of changed the momentum. That missed flare blitz specifically. Kind of kicks the hydrant high. I don't know if he wanted that. I think he just wanted to get rid of it. 182% now. Charizard, big boy, gonna live. Shields. Duck Duck's gonna kick. Nice shield to upbeat, and Jenkins is gonna take that I one away from Duck Duck. So Pony. badly messed up so much of that. Uh, my Biggest heart. sigh of relief from Jenkins. You can hear it in the in the game on the gamer cam, the gamer mic. We're going to game three here. So Jenkins is gonna ban FD in Battlefield. Doesn't want to give Duck Duck Pony. What? I can understand Battlefield. I don't know what he wants. No, FD. I Which one? You're you're talking to me or Cole? <laughs> so we'll see. So Duck Duck Pony actually wants to run it back to town and city. It was a very close match, so I can see why he likes. He's okay with that stage. I understand. I. Now that I see the benefits from Pokemon Trainer, we'll see if he's going to stay with Pokemon Trainer because Jenkins is a man of many characters, but he is going to stick with the Pokemon Trainer, and I'm sure Dr. Pony will stay with Pac-Man. Jenkins and Dr. Pony sitting in a 1-1 tie here. Winner of this will be moving on to play the winner of Spikes and Lou Money. Losers being sent down the losers bracket, but here we go, guys. Game three. And it is now, I can't tell if it was nighttime before, but it is definitely nighttime now. Town and city. It's funny, it's probably darker in town and, in town and city than it is actually outside right now. So right now with these, these this like interesting triplat uh, kind of configuration, I feel like Dr. Pony is going to try to camp that middle platform a lot. Throw out that fire hydrant and use the... Uh, and be able to cycle through that fruit. See, there we go. He's, he's Now he gets over to the bell. And the thing is that it's tough because Jenkins doesn't really have... Especially at Ivysaur, but really in any of the Pokemon, they have, they don't have a way to disrupt Pac-Man's cycle. That's what he's supposed to do. He's a cat. See, just like that, he knows that uh, Jenkins is... Wow, what a late hit, or what a weird hit on the bell. And the back air. Not going to finish the side off. Hey, Jen Jenkins had a uh, panic flare blitz back to the stage. Instead, Duck Duck Point is going to be sitting there waiting. It's the perfect sides match to take the first stock. <laughs> he pushed. He kept pushing it back too. Gets the falling. I think that uh, back air. I think or forward air. No, I don't know if that was forward air. You you're doing a great job using the uh, the hydrant as a edge guard. And Duck Duck is sniping right now with this fruit. And Jay, it seems like it, he's just in Jenkins' head there. Jenkins not down to his last stock. Got the biggest mountain to climb. 91%. This is where Jenkins needs to try to find this first kill. Just get that momentum going. But unfortunately, Duck Duck Pony is kind of cycling it up with over 50, 60, 5% now. Desperation time for Jenkins. I, I promise you I can tell you what's going on right now. <laughs> Seems like uh, Duck Duck is actually going to up B to uh, follow Jenkins around. Now it's getting a little. Now Duck Duck Pony is going to be kind of fishing. For this kill, Jenkins gonna get the forward air. Is that gonna kill? No, he's not, because Pac-Man actually's got a great recovery. <laughs> Jenkins needs to find his way. If he gets this kill, at least he gets some momentum back, but Duck Duck Pony with all of this the power. <laughs> Goes for the drop shot with the bell to scare Jenkins, and that's a three stock from Duck Duck Pony to finish off. And now he's hiding from you. That's funny. Guys, you're Cole is just making sure I have a tough time here. But luckily, yeah, can we get a headset on? <laughs> 